Welcome back to 101 East in Bali. Most of the international attention to the bombings of 2002 focused on the experiences of foreigners. One local who also survived the horror of the time is Ayu Silla. This is her story in her own words. When the bombs went off, I was at the Sari Club. I have visited the site of the bombing many times. It is an empty space now. I was in the rubble and in a state of shock because I could hear people screaming. I was wondering whether I was dead. I didn't know where I was at that time. Most of my friends who died were working in the front part of the club. They worked as security personnel, cashiers and waitresses. We were very close. One of those who died was very near me during the explosion. Before the incident, I was chatting with him. He told me his wife was pregnant. I used to have dreams that the Sari Club had reopened, and I was chatting with my friends who died. Then when I wake up, I face reality and realize that they are all gone. The first time I left the house alone was when I went to the group counseling. It was here that I thought I can help others who suffered like me. Because of my personal experiences, I decided to help them by counseling, to help them understand and fight depression by relating their experiences. Ibu Madir is a victim of the 1st October 2005 bombing. She worked as a waitress at a Maniga cafe. I'm counseling her. I'm okay now. I'm stable. However, it's an experience I will never forget. It still comes to my mind once in a while. I know about the movie, but I have not seen it yet. We're at the Ulun Danu Temple in Bali to talk about the Indonesian film The Long Road to Heaven, a dramatization of the 2002 Bali bombings. With me is a survivor from those bombings, Peter Hughes, also the co-producer of the film, Wilza Lubis, and Surya Saputra plays one of the terrorists in the movie. Thank you for staying with us. Well, we sp we've spoken to uh, a number of people who either lost friends and family or who were actually involved, like you, uh, in the, in the event itself. And, uh, and we've had a lot of uh, comment that it's too soon to talk about it, there's too much pain involved, and, and they don't want to engage in the conversation and will actively speak against the film itself. Now, hopefully this film will appear at the Sydney Film Festival in June, uh, and presumably there will be some controversy over it. What would you say to those people who don't look at it in the same way as you? Oh, look, I, it's hard because I, I'm, I'm making a stand for myself. I, um, I can't really say much to the victims' families because I don't know. I don't know exactly what they're feeling. I could imagine if I lost my son mm. and I'd be outraged and devastated oh. and I'd, yeah. I'd be yeah. wanting um, a lot more, a hell of a lot more, but um, I can't sit in their shoes. I, have you, have you noticed a, a distinction between people like you who were, were simply there uh, and suffered the consequences and people who lost loved ones? There, 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 there seems to be a different levels of anger amongst the, the two groups of people. Yeah, well, some are totally uh, outraged, obviously. There are others that want closure. Uh, we all want closure out of Bali, I guess, yeah. and a lot of us do it in different ways. But I can see the outrage um, from all sides. And, and I do see it. I've seen people that have lost loved ones that have moved on. And I've seen people that have lost loved yeah. ones that don't talk about it. I've yeah. seen people that have lost loved ones and they just want more. And I, yeah. I consider that, I don't blame them. And, uh, and I guess looking at this film, the way it's come out a bit at this time, it's, uh, it's not the first film. There's been a couple others, mm. things that have come out, like documentaries that yes. On TV. You know, it, funny enough, a lot of us say we don't want to see these things, but, but for me, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm filling in the gaps. 
because when the first bomb went off, the second bomb went off, and I had this little trail of, you know, a devastation and warlike situations for me. To for me to this, it's like saying, well, maybe I can fill in that little gap that that I missed before. So you you've 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 said that that the characterization of Muslims uh, as terrorists is mm -hmm. is something that makes you uncomfortable and something you don't believe mm -hmm. uh, is is supported by the facts, but. In the film itself, you're, you're trying to portray the terrorists as um, understandable human beings to a, to a greater or lesser extent. Does, did, did that make any difference to you? Did you think the characterization in the film mm -hmm. was an accurate one or a fair one? I think uh, Khalil Nashira film uh, had done its research for, for this. It's been two years. Maybe it's, it's not uh, long enough. Or more than one year. Yeah, more than yeah, it's two Around years. One and a half years. Uh, we try to make everything uh, as accurate as possible. Yeah. Maybe there's there's some minus here and there, but we try to make it accurate. Uh, but if there's any 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 miss, yeah, because uh, we do realize that it's a really sensitive movie, yeah, right? It's a sensitive so issue. we have to be really be careful in it. Are you surprised at how how much reaction there has been? Well, actually, from the website, uh, we see from the website, uh, most of them is, they're not really, they, they accept this. But the fact that the movie has been banned in Bali itself is, mm -hmm. is interesting. Yeah, it is banned in Bali because, uh, well, we don't know why, but we appreciate that. Yeah, we respect, we do, the, the we respect that. Has it got something to do with tourism, you think? No, I don't uh, no I it's, think it's for the local boat. I think, it's, yeah. Yeah, think the government thought that uh, it's going to be bring up the wounds yeah, for the local guys. The but actually, we yeah. do the Bali research people. that Bali people, it's fine. A couple, a couple of the more extreme expressions of, of anger from victims and sufferers has been that they feel that the movie makers are trying to profit from other people's pain. <coughs> Is that fair, do you think? Well, I think it's back to the people. I mean, like, it's, uh, uh, it's their right <laughs> to, to, how to, uh, to decide anything. To decide, mean, uh, yeah. But then again, decide, we're, we're not trying to make a profit here. Yeah. We're trying to make a point that, um, we just want to make some kind of like positive message from mm -hmm. this movie. So, uh, because actually in our country itself, uh, not every audience can accept this serious movie like this. Peter, is, is, have you noticed much of a, a tension in Australia being paid to the local victims and, and the troubles that it's caused for Bali itself? In Bali? By Australians. I mean, obviously the, the, the key point of concern in Australia is the Australian population. But is there much talk about the kind of psychological and physical damage that was caused to Bali and to Bali's people? Oh yeah, a lot. Um, well, a lot of Australians aren't going to Bali yeah. now because of not only the first bombing, <coughs> but the second bombing. Yeah. Do you think there's much sympathy amongst Australians for Bali? No. And the people? No, not at all. Um, I think there's a, there's a, Australian people are quite friendly, kind people um, and forgiving. Uh, I tend to think a lot of people stop coming to Bali because they blame the Barneys yeah. for what happened. Mm -hmm. um, Is on, that fair? On the, on the side of security and, yeah. you know, you. Bali was a place to bring your family and your kids yeah. and, and now they, the families won't bring their kids and they tend to just yeah. come as couples now. And I think they sort of see, they don't like Bali being run down the way it is at the moment. There's no people yeah. around because um, a vast number of Australians used to come to Bali um, like quite often, two or three yeah. times a year. Yeah. And now they'd be lucky to come once every two years. Yeah. And a lot of Australians that do come feel also sorry for the Balinese because they feel like they're suffering yeah. Yeah, and we don't are. like people to yeah. suffer yeah. and the way terrorism sort of happened or what, the way we actually see it as murderers yeah. Yeah. happen yeah. Um, <coughs> to give it another word I guess is the fact that uh, people in Australia um, you know are, are borderline and I, and I guess that's probably not fair because uh, we don't want to see terrorism control what we want to do as individuals. Yeah, 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 exactly. And I guess that's why I've been back a few times because I feel like I'm flying mm. in the face of yeah. what these people did to me and many other victims involved. So 
Uh, and in, in, in that context then, do you think that uh, a dramatization, a uh, return to Bali, do you think that all this helps in the healing process? Do you think those people who are still uh, hurting and mourning would actually benefit from maybe engaging more in the way that you have done? Oh, of course. Um, you got to be, yeah. as a survivor, it's a lot easier. As, as, a, as a victim that lost, you know, their, their family that lost somebody, it's a lot tougher. But, um, you know, uh, you go back to that spot where they were and where, where, where they sort of died, I guess, and uh, it's, a, it's about paying respect. So, you know, the, uh, the film itself, I guess, that's why we're here, is, is bringing out a lot of um, old wounds. And uh, yeah. in a lot of ways, it, uh, for me, I don't want to see this movie portray terrorism or the terrorists or the criminals as, as nice people. I think what we've got to understand from our point of view is the fact they're not nice people. And they, um, and when they organised this, they planned it. And once you plan something, uh, it becomes a, a lot worse. Yeah. Which seems like a very appropriate place to leave the conversation. Thank you all very much. No worries. Thank you. Thank you.